Three hundred. But I just paid you for boardwalk. <laughs> and you just passed go. Hand it over. Mark, the price is two hundred. I taxed extra. I thought we were trying to play fair. <laughs> my property, my extra taxes. But if I land on any other hotel, I'm out. So, that's the point of the game. But we're friends, business partners. And we do business. So let me have my taxes. You can't tax extra. What? The rules say you can't tax extra on railroads. <laughs> you read the entire rule book? Players who own railroads or utilities cannot place any taxes outside of regular mortgage price. So no extra taxes. Uh, fine. Two hundred. You can keep the rest. Okay. Thank you. You read the entire rule book in five seconds? Well, only the important parts. This is really good for stuff like that. What else can it do? Oh, lots of stuff. You'll find out when you get yours working. It's still sore. Yeah, that'll get better. Hey, you only own three railroads. I only owe you a hundred, not two hundred. I don't know what you're talking about. Give it back. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Scammer. Give it back. I have no idea what's going on. here with your early morning episode of Movers and Shakers. We have a special guest on this morning. Angelo Gardos from the National Institute of Media Research is here to talk about the recently released Mendax Eye Lens from our friends at Dolos International. Hey, Angelo. Hey, Nick. So, what is the Mendax Eye Lens, for those who are uninformed? Well, Nick, it's basically mixed reality. It interprets the natural world and then shows real-time social media information pertaining to what you see. The lens connects with the Mendax app loaded on your mobile device. But there are some serious health concerns that have come up with the lens. And what health issues are you referring to? Well, the surgery isn't too comfortable, but minor effects of use can include itching around the eye, possible swelling of the eyelids, and excessive tearing in the eye. But these all only last for the first few days of use, and most of these issues were tweaked in early models to reduce the effect. However, the big issue is the permanency of the lens. Early beta tests revealed that the lens was actually impossible to remove after being attached to the eye. So wait, Angelo. Are you saying that after you receive your implant, you have it for life? Yes, Nick. After the surgery, it is impossible to retrieve the lens without damaging your eye. You can still disable the lens, but, according to Dolos, no procedure yet exists to remove the unit. What implications do you think this new tech might have on our growing amount of social media users in the U.S.? Well, Nick, this technology is amazing. The lens alone is a huge step in personal technology, and that's not even mentioning software. But considering the many studies on the effects of misuse of social media platforms, I'd say we have to be very careful about how much we let this stuff influence our lives, especially with the abilities of this new technology. Yeah, that's a very good point, and I've had a personal experience.
well. That's cool. <laughs> Can you see us? Yeah. You guys have such high ratings. Hey, Mark, don't get too carried away with this. We're still right here. Yeah, of course. Okay. Come on, we should get going. Okay. Hey, Mark. Mark. Mark, can we talk?
Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, everything is fine. Mark, would you ever lie to me? No. Then stop. I know you better than that. Something's troubling you. Is it about Alex? No, no. Why would this be about Alex? Well, you two haven't talked in weeks. I saw something in the upstairs hallway. It looked like a person, but it was transparent and gray. Did your eyelids shut off when you saw it? Yeah, how'd you know? A lot of people say it's a glitch. The company is going to fix it with the first update. So it was just a glitch. It wasn't real. No, I didn't say that. But how can it be real if it's just a glitch? I don't know. I don't know. It's not real. It's just a glitch. We need to talk. About? Why are you blocking everyone? What do you mean? David hasn't seen you in two days, and I'm assuming you haven't seen him either. But why do you care? I'm trying to help you, Mark. I want to work things out between all of us. I am working things out. I'm trying to get us all on the same page here. But you building all these walls and gallivanting around with your phone isn't helping either. What? What's wrong with blocking people? It's easy, Mark. It's too easy. Of course it is. You with your noble crusade to bring peace to the land and your proclamation on the right way to do things. But who are you to tell me how to handle my problems? I'm your friend. Not anymore. Mark. Mark, wait.
really it's just a glitch. It's not real, it's just a glitch. But we're friends, business partners. Thank <laughs> you. 